So we can write code in WebStorm, flip over to Google Chrome, hit reload, and we see our changes. And you can get pretty fast at that. So we can go to WebStorm, add some text here. It's also fun for other reasons. Save it with Control S. Alt tab or command tab flips over to Google Chrome or your last application. And then there's another keyboard shortcut for reloading Control R or Command R on Macs. There we go. And this was the way developers program for a long time. And it works, you can get fast at it, but there's a better way now. You can now program, code your HTML, other things we're going to learn inside WebStorm and have the changes happen live right on the Google Chrome web page next to it. So let's set that up. Let's go back to WebStorm. And we're going to go to the View menu and go to Live Edit. Now when you click that, you might be prompted here if you don't already have it installed to install the IDE or JetBrains IDE support for Google Chrome. So just click this link here. And you'll be prompted with this screen, JetBrains ID Sport. You see that it has five stars, 4.96 stars on average. Everybody seems to love this because it's pretty cool. Click Add to Chrome and say Yes, Add. There we go. Now we have our JB tab. The, we can close this now. And the only thing is we have to restart WebStorm. So let's close WebStorm. Yes, we're sure. Let's reopen it. So I'm going to now adjust the sizes of these windows so that we can see them side by side. Let's close the tip of the day. Those are always really fun to read. And let's bring this a little in more so you can see all the changes. We don't need the file list tab so wide. And let's bring Google Chrome over here. And now when we make changes, like for the, instead of I like you code so much, you, you see that when just being in this section highlights the section of the web page. Now I can change it to love. And you see, it changed it to love. 